shut up a minute, hey. Thank you all for coming. I haven't written anything. This just comes straight from the heart. To my beautiful new wife, our Kelly. I first visited Kelly in prison some four years ago. She was sitting on a bench, scratching a name onto the table with a fingernail, and I knew right there and then that she was the one for me. So I proposed, I asked her to marry me. I didn't have a ring or hope, so I just got down on both my knees and asked for a hand in marriage right there in front of all the other visitors. She said yes, everyone applauded, happy days. <laughs> and then Kel was uh, returned to a cell after trying to borrow the warden's wedding ring. <laughs> I now know why he didn't want to take it off because I feel the same way. I don't ever want to take this ring off. Even if a fairly, you know, sizable woman with a sharp and bido came at me, I would not take this ring off for the whole world. The next day, Prince Charles came round Shell's prison on an official royal visit. Mm. And our Kelly got to meet him. I say meet him. She was in solitary confinement at the time, so she just sort of shouted in his general direction. She told him, I've just got engaged and I'll let the palace know the details. Well, we've not seen him yet. We've put a plate aside in case he shows. I hope he likes volivants. <laughs> we've run out of here now, so, so we'll have to go with that. Anyway, Kelly is a wonderful person, a fairly good mum and very good at DIY, always getting her hands dirty. On the second drugs raid of my house, sorry, our house, the police took an age to find anything. That was when you did a runner to your cousin's hairdresser. She did your roots. Anyway, the police came back day after day, all loads of them searching. They were there so often, I ended up giving them a shelf in the fridge. When they finally pulled up all that coke from under floorboards, they really took the time to appreciate Kelly's workmanship. And I found that quite moving, given the circumstances. I thought, what a woman. <laughs> I've always been, as you all know, when it comes to feelings, a bit of a bit of a shy lad. But Kelly, you've really brought out the best that there is in me. You never once taken my love for granted and you've tried so, so hard to change your ways. You even took that job a couple of months ago at Safeway and that went well for a bit. And I do think the judge was hard on you for stealing all them cereal packets. I know you probably shouldn't have driven the whole truck away, but I reckon that morning... You must have had your Weetabix. <laughs> Joking aside, um, thank you for being my wife. I'm sorry you couldn't be here for all that day. You look so beautiful in your dress, babe. Honestly, my heart skipped a beat when I saw you walking down the aisle. Dad on one side, prison guard cuffed on the other. <laughs> she did well to walk sideways all that way. But you look so fantastic, I don't think anyone even noticed. And finally, from here on, it's just you and me, babe. I'm sorry you couldn't stay all the day, and I hope you get to see that video soon. And I'm, I'm going to do our first dance for us, and I've picked something a little bit tongue-in-cheek. When will I see you again, by the three degrees? When will I see you again? Do, 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 do. <laughs> and we all know the answer to that. In four months on good behaviour. And don't ever think... Does he really love me? Because you know what, babe? I really do. To our Kelly. Bang some tunes on. When will I see you again? If you look after your community, your community will look after you. Be a local legend. Donate what you can. <laughs>